What's going on, Wastelanders? Draco Invictus here with another tips and tricks video. This one we're going to be discussing power, specifically the wireless radius of conduits and pylons. They both work the same, and um, as you can see, I have a little demonstration set up here. I have a small generator. I have one wall conduit and some lights, and you can see that they're all working, and they're working wirelessly. Uh, I had a conversation and someone was using like feet and meters to, to discuss the wireless range of conduits and pylons and I thought there is a much easier way to describe this. It's wall sections. Okay, One wall section, two wall sections. For instance, I grab this light, move it beyond the two wall sections, it turns off. And you can see that right even at this corner, it actually turns off but I can still place it. The reason being, if I come and look at this conduit, it's beyond that once I move it beyond that second wall section length it's going to lose its power okay and I set up a third one over here you can see it's got nothing going on so two up two down left right it's a radius from the conduit or pylon It's the easiest way to remember it is two wall sections it's that simple now there is an issue if you put a conduit that has no power okay I'm not running any power to this conduit. Lights around it may act a little goofy. Like for instance, that light is still on. And before, or if I take away this conduit, pick up that light, it goes off. Some lights will attach themselves to a conduit. And no matter what you do, notice now I'm within the two range of that one, but the light is still not on. It has somehow linked itself with this conduit that has no power. If I get rid of the conduit, grab the light again, it'll come back on. This will help you solve a whole lot of lighting issues in your settlement builds, so keep that in mind. Now, one other thing uh, that has been talked about from time to time is getting wire from one side of a wall to another. Because if you just try connecting condu or, yeah, conduits, it won't work. Let's try it again nothing okay if you're using wall conduits or floor conduits rather uh, grab yourself a rug go ahead and make your connection between your two conduits grab one put it on the rug and rug glitch that bad boy right over and the wire goes right through and you can see now that for some weird reason that's lighting up I don't know why considering that conduit is not hooked to any power again the goofiness that is lighting in Fallout 4 and as you can see that light went off but let's say you're not using floor conduits maybe you're using wall conduits okay you can't exactly rug glitch a wall conduit over but what you can do let's go ahead and hook this one up to this conduit here uh, you can actually trick it by if you see my white cursor I'm going to put it on the wire as close to the conduit as possible, but not highlighting the conduit, just highlighting the wire. And if we listen carefully, you hear the spark, which would then allow me to go through to the other side, press Y to attach the wire, and then press Y one more time, if you're on Xbox One, to get all of your commands back, your A, B, X, Y, and all that stuff. Real quick, let's do that. Let's do it one more time, just, and I found that going at an angle is better. See here I'm trying to get onto that wire. I may not get close enough, but if you go at an angle, you can typically get really close to that conduit, but just highlight the wire and listen. There's our spark. Even though you don't see a cable, it's there. Trust me. Connect it, hit Y again, and you're good to go. And notice everything has power. Get rid of that conduit get rid of this conduit because again within two that's going to transmit between walls so but if I get rid of this conduit here then that light goes off that is going to do it ladies and gentlemen for wireless power in Fallout 4 electricity can certainly be glitchy a lot of it can be solved by making sure that all of your conduits or pylons have power your lights are within two wall panels or floor panels doesn't really matter. They're the same width or length. That's what uh, the determining factor is. So that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. 
Take care of yourselves out there, Wastelanders. And until next time, this is Draco Invictus saying see ya.